Okay, so we've looked at chats, we've investigated channels, and you know all about email. But what's the best tool to use and when, right? Well, there are no hard and fast rules. So here are some principles for using Teams with your teams in Teams. Now that our team is all up to speed on using Teams, we rarely use email for team discussions. If we're working on a new YouTube video, well, that's gonna be a conversation in a channel in a team. It'll be accessible to all members of the team, which means that everyone can find it using search. And new members of the team will have access to the entire thread of conversation neatly filed in the appropriate channel. Since it's a piece of work, it generally belongs in a team channel. When we add a new team member, we'll add them to the team and they'll have access to the entire history of our work. So for example, if they're wondering where the files are for a certain video, well, they can find them by looking at the conversation in the channel, in the team. The files are also stored right there in the files tab in the channel. Usually that piece of work would also go onto the team planner and there'll be some OneNote pages and a number of video files that all live inside of the team. If we have a more general question for the team, we could send it as a message to the group using chat. But before we did that, we'd consider if it's the kind of question that would be ever asked again, if it could ever come up in future, then it might be best to find a place within a channel in the team to ask it. That way, it's there in the team as a record. Keeping things in the team means that we don't have to redo the same work over and over again. But if it's a more casual conversation or a one-off, then it goes into the chat. For example, is anyone heading into the office today? Well, that'd be a good chat. But how do we connect with this supplier? Well, that might be better in a channel. And if the communication is more formal and likely to include external parties who are not part of our teams, then email is probably the best. So there's some general principles that you can discuss with your team. Teams in Teams is for teamwork. Chat is for more casual conversation. And email is for formal communication and messaging with external parties who are not part of your team. There are always exceptions. So we don't make rules. Principles are better. Have you found Teams in Teams helpful? Or do you mainly use chat? Tell us in the comments below. And feel free to use this video in your next weekly digital skills jam. In the next video, we'll be taking a look at how to bring your existing OneNote notebooks into your new team or channel. So make sure that you're subscribed and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when the next video drops.